Hello, my name is Trish Lim Francia, co-founder of Woven, a compassionate crafts company that works hand-in-hand with Filipino artisans to create products for the modern lifestyle. In the Philippines, particularly in the town of Basay Samar, mat weaving is a beautiful tradition, but a dying art. When we came in after Super Typhoon Haiyan, my partner and I discovered that women were only earning about a monthly average of $12 from their weaving, and the average age of a weaver is 50 years old. Most of them did not want their kids to continue on with the craft. So the question we asked ourselves was, how do we revive a dying craft in a world of fast fashion and ever-changing trends? And this is something that we continuously tackle even until today. The challenge was turning traditional mats like this one, used for sleeping, into items that people would actually buy and use in their day-to-day. So how do we do it? More importantly, how do we make it sustainable? not just for our business, but also for the local artisans who are earning so little despite their talent and hard work. We really started with a social mission in mind and ultimately our aim is to ensure or to uplift the lives of artisans around the Philippines, not just the mat weavers in Basay, but also craft communities around the Philippines because what we found out was that uh, many of the challenges and problems that the mat weavers were facing we're also being faced by other artisans uh, around the Philippines. Personally, I came in as a creative in the social enterprise and development world. So what solution does Woven provide? Personally, I came in as a creative in the social enterprise and development world with my background in marketing and advertising and writing. Um, And I saw the possibilities of our community-made crafts. So with my co-founder, we conceptualize a social enterprise that works hand-in-hand with traditional artisans for the modern lifestyle. We don't just focus on creating handmade products. We ensure that each item is beautiful and functional so that it highlights the beauty of our local handicrafts, but at the same time fulfills a need in the market. We've come a long way since the idea of helping local artisans first sprouted. Ever since our research and development in 2014, our community organization in 22 barangays in Basay Samar, we've since worked with 30 weavers in Samar when we launched Woven and expanded into six community partners increased average income from $12 per month to $34 per month, increased community assets, upskilled weavers, and involved the youth in the craft. So currently, we're working with 118 artisans around the Philippines and expanding into the global market. So for us, it's not just the quantity of weavers that we work with, but it's also the quality of the partnerships that we form with them. How do we deepen our partnerships? Uh, We help them with creating value-added products that they themselves produce, um, introducing systems and technologies for quality control, helping to organize their communities so that they are themselves social enterprises in their own right, and providing access to more market. Throughout the pandemic and this difficult time, we've continued to provide income and livelihood to our partner artisans, We even distributed 160 farming kits to address food insecurity. One thing was that we created and distributed a creativity workbook for the kids in the absence of our face-to-face workshops. And we've systematized our weaving production to cope with remote work. Moreover, we've continued to collaborate with weavers and explore different markets. In terms of SDGs, we're aligned primarily with one, no poverty, five, gender equality, and eight, decent work and economic growth. Some of our projects and programs are also in pursuit of SDGs three, good health and well-being, responsible consumption and production, and finally, partnerships or the goals. Our management team is lean and mean, uh, made up of myself, Trish Lim Francia, who is co-founder and CEO, Um, And with John Francia, the president, and also Audrey Trinidad, co-owner and marketing consultant. Apart from us, we have an operations officer and a digital officer to help us with our day-to-day operations.
But Woven is really made up of our artisans, and we wouldn't be here without them. The, the weavers, the embroiderers, the sewers, yes. oh, and fine. also the leaders, the leaders of our associations. Over the years, we've formed meaningful partnerships with different organizations like Bayan Edge and Bayan Academy uh, that provided um, our seed capital to jumpstart our productions, providing income to 30 weavers during our starting year. Forest Foundation Philippines provided funding for in-depth guidance, monitoring, and mentoring of crafts communities in Basai. Work Together Foundation in Korea through the Smile Together Partnership provided funds for capacity building investments and assets and youth engagement. And finally, of course, Angels of Impact, who through this difficult time provided mentoring and financial support for our global expansion. We've also been very privileged and blessed to work with these corporations and design partners in creating products for their corporate giveaways and also their gifts. All of these are in pursuit of our mission to provide continuous income for our artisans and to ensure that the craft of weaving lives on until the next generation. Thank you so much and please follow us at these links if you want to know more about our story and to view our products.